One of the common mistakes that we've learned is uh, getting too handsy and then getting involved in hand fighting. And so if I approach her seated upright guard with my hands and then start working on getting a hand connection before I move on to body-body connection, um, what I found is not good things happen. So it might look a little like this and you're just gonna hand fight me and create space and back up. Yeah. And so you get all that stuff going on um, and then eventually you're gonna lose the fight and she's gonna get a foot up on my hip and then she's gonna be playing a great open guard. Uh, instead of doing that, I wanna get a good body to body connection that precludes using my hands. And I'll talk in a minute about what you should use your hands for. But uh, I wanna connect with her first by closing the distance and then uh, removing all the space and then putting on her on her back before I even think about engaging my hands. So in slow motion, it might look like this. I'm gonna change to her level. I'm gonna keep my elbows in tight to my body and I'm gonna go shoulder to shoulder and then drive her back flat. Let's move a little bit this way. And so in doing that, I'm gonna kind of accept whatever we get in that scenario. Um, and so again, my hands stay close to my hips. And the reason they do that is because if my elbows are on my hips, her feet can't be there because two things can't be in the same place at one time. And uh, I'm gonna go in head and shoulders first, right in the pocket here, drive her back. And then there we are. So that's from seated upright guard. Hands. You will use your hands in that, but they're only gonna do two things, and this is super important. So in that initial knock them on their back, your hands will do only two things. One, they'll keep the bottom person from closing a full guard. You don't wanna put them on their back and end up in full guard. And two, they'll keep the feet off your hips. Now she can insert a butterfly hook. I don't care about that, but I don't want her feet landing on my hips because it's too strong and she'll be able to control the space that way. That's the only two things I'm gonna use my hand for in this initial engagement. How you do that's kind of up to you, but for me, in general, what I do when I come in is I touch the feet and leave my hands here until her back is on the mat and I've accomplished those two goals. And so what I like about this is my elbows are able to stay in. Uh, I'm not engaging in a real hands fighting play. I just simply touch the feet and then drive back and then use the, the sensitivity of my hands to control a leg if I need so she doesn't put it on my hip or be able to wrap them both and then um, end up in a closed guard. That's all I'm using my hands for. So it might look like this. So uh, Ella's gonna try to wrap a closed guard or she's gonna try to put a foot on my hip and I'm just gonna use my hands to try to keep that out. So it looks like that. Um, that's a really important critical first step in that passing game.